Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to summarize um, survey data that you have for your STAT project. So in this particular case, I get my data from a Google Form survey, or actually two Google Form survey to two, to two populations. One's uh, for college students, the other for adults not in college. I have two separate survey and I ask uh, friends and whoever they can cut it, get in touch with to send me data. And you will notice that uh, for college students, I have, um, if you open your form, you will notice that the, um, the number of responses that I have is 28. So I did get some responses. So how do I get these and analyze it? Um, so what you can do is you can click on response uh, under these open spreadsheet or create spreadsheet. You can click and download. So they, the responses are displayed here, but that's not the form that we want. We don't want pie chart. We want it to be on bar graph. And also we want both of them side by side. So first you download a CSV file, which is kind of a simple Excel file. So after you download it, you open it up with Excel. You can get Excel from Microsoft 365. And I think uh, even Google Sheets can open it. So after that, then you ignore the timestamp. This is the timestamp when you get your data. You only want to get the three columns, one categorical, two quantitative into StatCrunch. Okay, so copy them. And then um, open up a StatCrunch. For, these are for what? Is it for college students? Maybe, I forgot what it is. Yeah, these are for college students. So I open up uh, a two data table and I, in the title I say college student data. And then once it's a blank, it's kind of like a blank worksheet. So ready to download my data. So after I do that and I do control V. So it's all downloaded here with the first categorical data, the quantitative, two quantitative data. For the categorical data, maybe I'll simplify the titles to be how are you affected? So I just do affected. Okay. And then the second question should be, uh, how long did you stay? Stay home time, maybe just shorter so it's easier to see them. And then this will be lifted um, time in month, right? So that's how you summarize the title. Um, and then for non-college student, you do the same. Okay, so go back to my form. Open the form that had that uh, for and I was not in college, open it. Again, um, after they load, they will load all the responses. I have 22 responses from non-college adults. And I click this to download my file. So download responses. And again, I open it. It would be a CSV file, so you can open with Excel. Again, you do the same thing. So this is stat survey for adults not in college. So you ignore the timestamp. You just copy the three data that you want. Do uh, copy and then paste into stat crunch under the data table for non-college student data. So open a data new data table and just have a title have non-college student data. And then you are ready to do control V. So these are all there. Again, you want to change the title so it's easier because it would be a very long, a very long title otherwise. So I would just make it into short one. Stay home time, lifted time in months. Okay, so the stay home time is in days and this is in months. So you see, this is categorical. These two are quantitative. And they are the same for the same types of data for college students 
and non-college students. Okay, so two data tables separate, separately. So the next stage is after loading it is to get the um, summary statistics. So first, I will want to do the categorical data. These are categorical data, so I summarize them by doing graph bar graph with data. Affected. Um, the one that I want to click is value above bars and also titles. So title, I would say this is bar graph for um, college students. Affected by COVID-19. So just make sure that you have bar graph. And so there you go. Here's the bar graph. So what you do is uh, for PC, you can do a snipping tool, cut and paste this into a web document for your uh, report. So I have like a framework of the, the report that I want to do. Um, data summary. Population one is college students. Yeah, this is college students. And population two is non-college students. A graphical summary of how affected are you by COVID-19. And then um, I'm going to do the second one. Okay, so the second one is for non-college students. Okay, so you want to do the same graph, bar graph, uh, with data, bar graph with data. So because you do have data. And then it will show up. Oh, I forgot to turn on um, value above graph so you know how many. And also the description, a bar graph for non-college adults affected by COVID-19. Compute. Make sure that you have the title so you know, people know what this is about. Um, you can make it smaller. Well, when it is small, it's just very, very. So then you do cut and paste again. Cut and paste into the report. Okay, it's just screen print it. Uh, where's my report? It's in the Word document and side by side with the other one. Okay, make it smaller. There, you have two bar graphs showing the frequency distribution or the frequencies of how affected they are. So you can briefly describe it. You can see most people for college and non-college uh, affect mostly, somewhat only. And then they are not much affected by more or were actually not much affect, affected uh, more for college students. So do some description on how you see the comparison. Um, there's a way where you can do double bar graphics, but stack crunch is, for stack crunch is hard to do or it takes a, it takes more work. And then the next things you want to do is write down your numerical summary. That means N and X because we're going to do, use it for a confidence interval. So you can decide on what you want to count. What is the success? In my case, I want to count the strongly affected. So strongly affected would be my X. This would be the failure. So I write down what is success. And then I would write uh, for college students, how many uh, data I have. I have 11 plus 9 plus 8 is 28. And then I have X strongly affected is 8. For non-college adults, I have total 14 plus 6 plus 2. So it's 22. My uh, strongly affected is six. Okay, so you can choose your success. You can have two act together being success also. So that's the categorical summary and the graph. And then uh, in the next um, video, I'll talk about how you can summarize uh, histo um, quantitative data. Okay, so this is the categorical data of uh, the two populations.